Now, if your teens are too cool to play in the snow and uh, you're looking for something to keep them occupied, we've got just the thing for you. Our book reviewer, Kieran Grimes, is back with three great new reads to keep your teens and preteens busy right through to summer, that distant land we can only dream of. Mm. But right now, we're talking about good reads. Kieran, what yep. have you got for us? Well, there are several new authors to look out for for 2009 and also a um, series of books. And I suppose the first one, um, it's, it's um, to do with the Twilight series by Stephanie Mayer. And it's um, Robert Pattinson, True Love Never Dies. And the reason why I've decided to review this um, is whenever the film came out uh, before Christmas, um, it inspired a lot of kids to go and buy the, the, the series of books. There are four of them. And the first one was released, I think, about two, two years ago. And the books so far have sold 25 million copies. Wow. So this guy, Robert Pattinson, plays the lead guy, um, Edward. He plays um, a vampire. And um, it's a great accompaniment to the book. And also, it will also get children to want to buy the books and want to read them. Um, but it's just interesting what you learn about him, um, because he's only 22. And he, he played Cedric in the Harry Potter film. In, was, the, uh, Goblet of Fire. in the Goblet of Fire. Who is this oh, he perfect, dies in it, yeah. He, he, dies, he, he played this perfect prefect, um, everyone looked up to him, etc. But Robert, in real life, according to this book, was, he, he, he was a bit of a wild child. Whenever he was 12, he was in private school and was expelled. Um, he you know, was a member of this rap band um, when he was around 14. And he himself said it was hardcore rap. Um, and also, he, um, when he was 16, his father said to him, you know, why don't you leave school? Because he probably thought this wasn't for him, yeah. because he was already involved in theatre. And he said, no, OK, look, I'll stay at school for another couple of years. He got a role in a TV film, and so he paid his own fees for the, for the two years. And his dad said to him, OK, if you get good grades, I'll give you that money back. But he didn't get good grades. He, you know, get, but exactly. But anyway, he got a role in this television um, movie, which brought him to the attention of you know, agents. He got a role in the play, which he was sacked from before the opening night. So all this buzz around this, uh, around him, uh, grabbed the attention of the director of uh, the Harry Potter Goblet of Fire, which is how he got ah, the part in that. Okay. Um, and then from that, he um, auditioned for Twilight. And Henry Cavill, I don't know if you know Henry, the actor Henry Cavill, yeah. he's in the Tudors and yeah. he was in the fantasy um, Stardust film. Gorgeous man. Yeah, he yeah. was, um, he actually had the role, apparently, of Edward. But Henry is 25, he's and Edward old. is 17. He was too yeah. old. Plus, so also, he, he doesn't have his cheekbones, does he? Well, and his, his, his kind of youthful look. So for any teenage girl who went to the movies and fell it's even perfect. more in love with the character, this book is a must-buy. Exactly, and yeah. it will encourage them to read the Stephanie Meyer um, series as well. So and whether you've read the Stephanie Meyer series or not, this is a winner. Exactly. Yeah. I exactly. don't think they read the Stephanie Meyer series once. In fact, Sophie's on, I think she's, she's on our fourth go-around now at this stage. Really? She just reads one wow. to the other, then starts all over again. Well, but her, her and her generation... She, she would love this book. Oh, listen to this book. And there's a pull-out poster. There's a poster of him up on the wall already. <laughs> well, there's a pull-out poster he is, in there. I know so. I shouldn't be Which saying it because he's like so young. <laughs> there's, there is he's gorgeous. <laughs> one of the most alarming moments of my, my yeah. parenthood was sitting beside my 10-year-old daughter as he walked on the screen and she went, <laughs> it's not really what you want to hear from your daughter because you go, wow. oh God, you're never getting out of the house now until you're 30. <laughs> I'll pay you not go to get married. Go on here, take that home, Sophie. No, well, I can't do that. Can I do that? Of course you can. There you oh, go, there you go. Oh, I'll be a hero. There's I'm so sacrificing many... it. I yeah, wanted the poster, no, no. but she can have it. She deserves it more. He's too young for you. I know he is. I have to give up on that hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kieran, okay. next. Okay, next. Um, well, the there's 39 a, Clues. The thir this is really interesting. The, um, this is a series of 10 books. And um, they're kind of written by a guy called Rick Reardon. Well, Rick has developed the storyline, and he's very famous for the Percy Jackson and Olympian series, which, oh, right, which, okay. which viewers will know. Oh, yeah. So it's a fantasy book. But he has come up with the storyline for the ten books, and him with four other authors are going to take it in turn to write them. Um, and what they are, they're interactive. They're... Um, as I say, ten books, but each book has got a, um, a collection of six cards. So you collect cards, you go online and you can enter, um, you can try and solve clues, you can win money, up to a million um, American dollars. Um, you can win money? Well, you, oh yeah, you can actually win money. What the story is about, the, the, um, the first book, um, The Maze of Bones, sets the scene. It's, it's about the Cahill family and the grandmother dies. She leaves a will to her descendants. There, there are four branches of the Cahill family and what she says to them is, you can each have one million dollars and walk away, or you can have a clue, and there are 39 clues, and if you find these 39 clues, mm -hmm. solve, um, kind of interpret what they mean, you will become rich beyond your wildest dreams. Oh. So I think there's, um, so some of the, um, her, her, her descendants to decide, we won't take the million dollars, we'll, we'll embark and try and find these clues. 
So she's got two grandchildren, Dan and Amy. They pair up and they, um, along with the other um, relatives, try and find the, the, the 39 clues, which are scattered all over the world. So the reader goes on the journey too. You try with, and solve the exactly. clues Exactly. Well. And, 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 and also the, the reader um, can go online and solve real life clues. They can exchange the cards that they're collecting and, and win prizes. Cool. Um, so the first two books are out. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic. Cool. Yeah. And I think the aim behind it is to get uh, kids back to reading, you know, children who are online on the internet all the time. It's okay. to get them to read, which will then, uh, and, and whenever you read the books, you have to go online as well. Okay. Well, of course, it's also so, like the games, isn't it? Because you have to move on to a exactly. different level and yeah. different... Exactly. You're progressing. So they're used exactly. to doing this So maybe for people games. who are a bit shy of reading and prefer going online, this would be a this good one. This is perfect, okay. because it, it, it will get them to good read. Good choice. Very so, quickly, Karen, yeah. we've, uh, we've... Numbers by um, Rachel Ward. This is fantastic. If you look at the cover of that book, basically, it's about a 15-year-old girl. Whenever she looks... Oh, people, very clever, yeah, isn't it? Whenever yeah. she looks at people in the eye, she... She sees the, numbers. The date of their death. She seems the date. Oh. She sees the date of their death. Exactly. And how it starts off, she is in London w w with the, this uh, with her friend called Spider, and they're queuing up to go on the London Eye. She takes a, a glance behind her at the queue, and she sees the same death, date of death on all these people's eyes, so she knows which is that which is that day. So she knows something major. <gasps> she knows something happen. major is going so she to knows happen. Don't go on the wheel. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going to give it away, but it's a fantastic beginning, a, wow. a premise to a book, and um, this you, you can see the date that, that people's died. You can see that becoming a film, but it's a horror perfect, movie. That's the film poster. Yeah, yeah I mean, totally. You go and see that based on that it's and she's a brand new author and she's also um, the same company that discovered JK Rowling and wow. they don't invest in someone too likely. Oh, yeah. see, so they are there. putting a lot of emphasis on that's, her. That's so a very good great selection. Idea. Yeah, yeah. And it's a teenage um, psychological thriller, and you don't get many of them. So time to run by Rachel Ward. Rachel Ward. Okay. It's, just, it's just fantastic. Um, great choice, And the 39 Karen. Clues as well. And that's and series of books. As well, so Excellent, Kieran. We'll put the details of that up on the website later yep. on. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Pete the Vetter will be here very shortly to answer all your queries. So if you've got, uh, if you've got one for him, just text VET followed by your question or query to 53131. You know the drill by now. And we'll be looking at some great affordable fashion from pennies. Let's uh, have our last look at the headlines now. Here is Siobhan Bastable.